What can we do for you guys? Uh, well, to celebrate our divorce, I'd like to get my ex-husband an engagement ring for his on-again, off-again girlfriend. Oh, and I might need your card in case I propose to my girlfriend, his ex-girlfriend, our social worker. <laughs> also, do you validate? We do. So what kind of cut were you thinking? Oh, uh, well, a, a, a cushion cut is a tray in vogue right now. Uh, oh, on the other hand, ever since I was a little boy, I had my heart set on a princess cut. <laughs> She's asking what Lindsay would like. Oh, uh, right, um, uh, the bride, uh, Lindsay. Um, uh, well, you know, she has very common taste, so, you know, probably round. Well, what do you think of these? They are both a minimum of four carats each. Oh, and uh, how much are they? Oh, dear Lord! I think I just dropped four carats in my pants. <laughs> Don't worry about the price, just get what you want. Wow, Lindsay is very lucky to have a man like you in my life. So do you see anything you like? They all look good under these showroom lights. I need something that looks good in a rent-controlled apartment in Van Nuys. Then I suggest this one. It's flawless. Oh, well, I'll take it. It'll remind her of me. Why? Does the diamond fart a lot? I'll just go wrap this up. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's really happening. Yeah. You're getting married. I know, I know. Uh, pretty soon I'll be Moving out of the house. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I certainly wouldn't expect you to let Lindsay and I live in your guest room. I mean, that, that'd be ridiculous, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> wouldn't it? I have the house all to myself. I hadn't thought about that. Thank you. Well, we should do this more often. We never get together anymore. Uh, we wouldn't miss your 50th birthday here in the year 2030. Why are you telling us what year it is? I don't know. I was just providing some context in case people missed the subtitle. Uh, well, I really appreciate y'all being here. And Lewis, I'm glad you could take time away from college. I wouldn't miss it, Dad. Although today is a big game between Jupiter State and Moon University. Go Craters! Wow. We sure are different in the year 2030. Uh, lots of things are different. <laughs> All right. I'm out of here. What? No, you're leaving? Yeah. I want to get home and watch the series finale of The Big Bang Theory. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey is guest starring. I didn't know President McConaughey could act. We should really get going to. Oh, no, no, come on, stay, guys. Wait, 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 why, why don't you, why don't you stay the weekend? I have all these extra rooms. God, Walden, I am a successful businessman. I don't need to live in your house for free anymore. I live in Lindsay's house for free now. <laughs> Bye, guys. Happy birthday. Well, I guess it's just you and me. And Lewis. Oh yeah, but he's just a hologram. I've got to go. It's pancake day in the cafeteria. <laughs> Oh, it's really just you and me. You want some cake? Hey, babe, ready to go? I sure am. Rain check on the cake. How the hell did you not age? I'm Michael freaking Bolton. <laughs> and thanks for introducing us. Get out of my house, Bolton. Bye, Walden. Yeah, bye, Walden. When a man steals a woman... <laughs> I don't want to be alone. Well, Walden, what, what are you talking about? No, you can't leave me. I'll give you anything you want. You can sleep in the master bedroom and I'll sleep on the futon. I just, I, you can't marry Minzy. Wait, you can't ask that of me. I'll give you the house. What's your return policy? You can't get back a BJ. Oh, God. I'm gonna die alone. Well, Walden, relax. No, I can't relax. I have seen the future. Miss McMartin has beautiful new boobs, but I don't get the boobs. Bolton gets the boobs. And Lewis, he won't come home from Moon College. Oh, calm down, calm down, Walden. Now, I want you to take a deep breath and tell me every detail about Ms. McMartin's boobs. I can't breathe. I need air. <gasps> My whole world is coming apart! Could you please bust me out? 